In this video we'll look at how to create blocks within AutoCAD. Uh, so I've opened up AutoCAD and, and I actually have a Civil 3D installed. So this is Civil 3D as AutoCAD. So what I will do is go to File New and we need to make sure that we pick the correct template here. Uh, I've had problems using the default Civil 3D drawing template so what I want to do is under my template libraries that are installed by default, I'm going to go to the AutoCAD templates and I want to pick the basic template which is ACAD.DWT and this will fix some of the scaling issues that some of us have seen in class when trying to create blocks here. So I'm going to turn off my grid and the particular block I want to create is a room ID block so it's just a rectangle with a number label inside of it. So what I need to do is make sure that I have my annotation object scale set to 1 to 1 and if you can't see this you'll need to go to the customization window here and make sure that these three items are checked. With that verified I'm going to create the rectangle for the block so I'll go to rectangle I'll pick any point I want and I'm going to make my rectangle using the dimension command so D enter it's going to be 0.5 wide by 0.25 tall and I'll zoom in a bit so you guys can see it and it's asking me to pick uh, which location I want to put this thing in so I'll just click over here I'll center this a little bit and now that I have my rectangle I'm going to create the block using this rectangle so I'll go to insert create block I'm going to give this a name I'm going to call it ID room the base point I'll specify on screen, the objects I'll specify on screen. Under the behavior I want to make it annotative and block units are inches and the very last thing here is to make sure this is checked so we can open it up in block editor and add the actual room ID text. So I'll click OK. It's going to ask for an insertion point and I'm going to use object snap and object snap tracking I'm going to click on the mid or uh, track to the midpoint, go down, find the other midpoint, and bring them across, and eventually they'll rubber band to the middle here. So, this is the exact middle of my rectangle. That's going to be my base point. Next, it's asking to specify the objects. So, I'm going to click on the rectangle, and when I have that selected, I'll hit enter or space. It'll bring up the block editor, and here I just want to verify that the size of the rectangle is correct. So, I'll use the distance command DIST and just measure from one mid end point to the next and it is in fact 0.5. The next thing we need to do is add what's called an attribute. This is the text that we're going to be using. So I'll click on attribute definition and I'm going to create a tag just called ID. The prompt is going to be room ID and the default we'll just make it 100. Text settings, I'm going to make this justification middle center so I can put it once again right in the middle of my rectangle. The style I'll leave it standard and the height I'm going to make uh, 1 8th of an inch so 0.25. Insertion point we'll pick on screen so I'll hit OK and I'm going to move from once again using object snap tracking midpoint midpoint and find the middle there. So this is going to be my room ID. I'm actually finished at this point so I'll close the editor and I want to save my changes and this is the original feature I used to create the block I'm just going to delete that and now what I'll do is insert my new block so I'll insert the block uh, we usually want to set our annotation object scale here we'll just leave it at one to one but if you already know your scale that you want to use you could change it and I'll pick wherever I want to place it and it'll prompt me for my room ID so I'll change this to 101 and hit enter or OK. And here is the completed block ready for use. If you actually have a, a different drawing and you want to put this into another drawing, let's say we just have a, a brand new drawing we started up, you can use uh, the Windows or your operating system copy command. So here I'm going to select my block and hit Control C. Go over to my new drawing and if I look at the insert blocks, there aren't any actual blocks. Uh, but if I do a control V and paste this thing in, even if I delete this now, my new drawing, drawing 3, I can insert and now that block is present. 
So it's a quick way to get some blocks from a drawing. If you have a block library drawing, you can just copy paste them into your, your working drawing here.